Well, as first off, the breakthrough came for the Warriors when Captain Dwight York split the Cuban defense with a pass to find Kenwin Jones and the big striker placed the ball between the legs of the Cuban keeper for the opening goal in the 67th minute. That sent an estimated 20,000 fans at the stadium into a frenzy. Two minutes later, Jones returned the favor, picking out York, and the Warriors captain drifted past the Cuban defender and got the goalkeeper to score with a finish reminiscent of his days at Aston Villa and Man United. 2-0 TNT. Keon Daniel then completed the scoring in the 86th, receiving the ball at the top of the box before sending a shot that clipped the crossbar and into the goal. 3-0 the final as the Warriors march to the next round of qualifying. Now, during last evening's match between the national team there and Cuba, there were several good chances and some good defensive work. Here are now some of those chances. Second minute, TNT had a chance from Russell Latapi, shooting just wide of the goal of the Cuban defender. On the defensive end, one minute later, a good sliding tackle by Keono Thomas to deny the Cuban attack. Later, more good defensive work by TNT, this time Akeel Edwards with a sliding tackle. In the 17th minute, Kenwin Jones had his header cleared off the line. Cuba's best chance of the game came when Luis Ramirez's shot hit the upright in the 12th minute. In the 29th, Ramirez again, this time denied by goalkeeper Clayton Ince. Dwight York responded with a shot which was saved at the near post. In the 44th combination play involving Edwards, York, Jones and Latapi. Latapi, however, shot over the bar. Goalless at the half. Cuba's Roberto Balmeseda shot just wide of the goal in the second half. Then Latapi finding Jones who was denied by the Cuban keeper. The Cuban defender denying Akil Edwards with the sliding tackle. In the 61st, Edwards shot off the crossbar when Jones flicked the ball into his path. So lots of chances for Trinidad and Tobago and even Cuba in the game. Well, national captain Dwight York is taking responsibility for the poor showing in the first half against the Cubans. York and coach Maturana spoke to the media following the game. Ken Fuentes has the details. Maturana, who led the Warriors to three wins, two draws and one loss in the semi-final round, said he was satisfied with the performance against Cuba, which took his team to the final round of World Cup qualifying. Maturana, who had the services of Sunderland hitman Kenwin Jones for the first time in World Cup qualifying, said the young striker has a bright future ahead of him. He believes that Kenwin Jones has the class to be one of the best callers in the world. Maturana utilized several young players in his team during the semi-final round of World Cup qualifying, adding they looked at over 68 local players so that the best could be added to the team. We're giving the opportunity to each one. Y al final se van a quedar los mejores. And at the end of it, we're going to keep the best players. Meanwhile, Captain Dwight York said he was happy that his team lifted their game in the second half to come away with the victory, adding he takes responsibility for their disappointing first half display. All credit to the players they stepped up to the plate um, and realized that we needed to raise up the game throughout the whole team. Starting with me, and I take the the the, the flat basically for the first half performance because. Uh, Leader, I needed to set a lot more, a better example, and I didn't think I did that. Commenting on the status of his club career, York said his future lies in the hands of his club's manager. I've got a contract there until uh, the end of this season. Uh, when I remain there, it's, it's yet to be seen. Um, obviously, it's not been a great season in terms of playing all the games. Occasionally, I played a game here and there. But, you know, I, I'm very grateful anyway. At my age, still competing at the very top of the premiership, so I'm delighted with that. Get went.